Super Rebel? Why with 179,000 subs on your normie channel are you attempting and failing to dunk on A-List Productions video? You have his content in your mouth trying to turn it into content for you since this game is that dead that you're actually talking about a video with 135 views. That's why it's visible because no one's covering this game. Can you guess why? Not only is he entitled to his opinion, but he is objectively correct in his assertion that Fortnite Avengers is better than the Marvel Avengers game. The criteria for better can be as broad as you want it to be too, homie, but most people are probably going to land on gameplay mechanics, how fun it is, and you may want to sit down for this one, but how many people are actually playing? These are great indications. Am I saying that criteria like this makes games like Among Us or Fall Guys better than other games with multi-million dollar budgets? No, not necessarily. Many may even consider those games a miracle of marketing. Oftentimes, higher quality things fly under the radar, while simple, mindless, and stupid things get more attention. You should know, Super Rebel. Look in the mirror. But you know what I know? People like you may consider standing in a rectangle, destroying machine cores, and killing the same robots in the same robot factories on 40 different floors solo the pinnacle of gaming. But for people like me, who understand how dull that shit is, so dull that Fortnite and its millions of players could fart to more fanfare than this bitch ass game that can barely manage 3,000 players on PC. Xbox can't even pull enough numbers for it to show up on the stat trackers. Meanwhile, Fortnite sacrificing an entire mobile platform with one Thanos snap. It doesn't matter how polished the combat is when the gameplay is a chore. It doesn't matter if it's a Marvel game when there's only two villains. It doesn't matter how good you think it is. If it's set out to be a multiplayer experience and fails at that in the same video, in the same video, Super Rebel, you acknowledge that people are getting their progress wiped. Fortnite players don't have to worry about that. They don't need to reload checkpoints or worry about their, their game unlocks being reset or lost. And if your argument is Fortnite has millions of players because it's a kid's game, then I guess every single game on the charts above Squeenix's Marvel Avengers must be a kid's game too. Even with the ratings that prevent them from being bought by little kids, you know what I'm talking about? Also, if your argument is that single player is what makes Marvel's Avengers noteworthy, strain your brain to comprehend my extremely concise assessment. Campaign could have been an excellent burst of fun in a reimagined Marvel Universe, but the injection of half-baked, unskippable, multiplayer-focused mechanics compromised the momentum of what might have been a smooth experience. If the Avengers campaign were an anime, more than 40% of that bitch would be filler. Stand in a rectangle, press the button, shoot the circle, quick time event. This gigantic misstep demotes this game and makes it bow in the faces of games like Batman Arkham, Spider-Man PS4. Why? Because they wanted to shoehorn a sampler of what to expect in the post-game. But you know what's comedic about that? Post-game is actually dog shit right now. Unfinished. A hamster wheel that's missing bars. So if you tried to run on it, your feet would go right through. A loot chase with a rotten carrot on a stick. The truth is, baby, loot should have not existed in single player. Heroes should have been maxed out in single player. By the end of single player, you'll be lucky to have reached level 13, 14 with some of these heroes. And many of them don't really turn into those heroes until level 50, motherfucker. You don't unlock mastery until 15. Heroes should have been maxed out in single player with the exception of Kamala Khan and Iron Man when he's building his makeshift armor. This is an intelligent assessment from an honest gamer about a flawed game 
that I enjoy. But I'm not a fucking simp for it, Super Rebel. Trying to be a satisfying single player story in a live service hamster wheel compromised both experiences. And if you're curious about how many people agree, check the player count. Are two archers going to save this bitch ass game? No. But I hope you try harder for content than being a bully to someone who rightfully thinks that Fortnite nailed Marvel better than this crap did. If you were to ask me my criteria on what better is, I'd ask which, one, which ones look more like Avengers? Which game's fun? Which one will leave a more lasting impression, a positive impression? The answer is Fortnite. Imagine that. Super Rebel, would you kindly shut the fuck up? With respect, of course. <laughs>